What you guys got another video do windows 11 settings reset after every windows update i see this quite a bit as people that put comments up saying that what's to stop microsoft from turning it back on after a security update i've done it myself he's disabled something and windows has reset it and i see a lot of people keep saying this about it resets all your settings i also see other silly comments like these ones here. Why are you saying only on Copilot Plus PCs? He removed Windows from free PCs and went to Linux, all because Microsoft loves to re-enable features that we turn off. So I'm going to show you in this video that that is not true. Another thing that's not true is he said he had recall on free PCs that were not even Windows 11, but Windows 10 24H2. And I told him that there is no 24H2 for Windows 10. But anyway. This is the sort of misinformation that people spread around or put on comments of videos and they're not getting their facts right. So let's go ahead and we've got a clean operating system here, 23H2 Windows 11. And basically there is no settings being changed on here. I'm going to change some settings and then we're going to roll out a feature update to 24H2, which in theory, if that person is true and all the other people that believe it, should reset all of these settings because we are doing a major feature update on this PC, which is basically a new build of operating system going on here. So you can see I haven't got any settings done. This is a fresh install, as I've said, and I'll show you these after we've done uh, the tweaks and I'll show you after we've done the update and we'll see if those tweaks stay in place and we'll see if those settings that I've got in place will reside on there after an update. So let's go ahead and we're going to run my script here and run some updates on this system. And I see a lot of people saying things in the comments like, how do you know Microsoft are not going to re-enable this when you're not looking and things like that. I just don't understand their mindset. But we've run the tweaks on this system right here now. So let's go ahead and uh, have a look at the settings now. I've done these uh, tweaks and you'll see that we have made tweaks to this system. They are now grayed out here. You can't turn these off. And these would all be reset according to a lot of comments that I've read in some of my latest videos. So you can see here, these are being controlled uh, by my organization because I've set them that way as a policy. And they are now set, as you can see here. These are all been turned off and you won't be able to turn them back on because they have been set up and tweaked. So what we're going to do is go to Microsoft's website and we're going to download the Windows 11 Assistant. Uh, so what we're going to do here is update using this method to 24H2. So this is a major update. This is really changing the operating system completely. And we're going to type Winver here and you can see we're on 23H2 right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to roll out this update here. I will speed this process up so not to bore you, but I won't skip any uh, parts so you can see the full process in action. I quickly need to do a check on the system because that's what you need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and download that here and quickly run their checks. And you'll probably see that there is already policy set in place about Windows updates. So when I do a check here, this will probably flag me as well. Let's go ahead and open this up and we'll let this check now. And you can see your organization manages updates on this PC. That's okay. I just had to run that program and I can now roll out this update. But it just goes to show you, I do have policies and updates and settings changed on this system. So I'm going to go ahead now and install and accept their terms condition and install 24H2 on here. It's going to go ahead and download all of this here. Quickly show you the system settings here so you can see 23H2. And what we'll do is I'll speed this up and we'll let this download quickly. There we go. And that's now coming down. And what we need to do now is get this restarted and it will start the installation process on the restart. So I'm going to go ahead and restart now and we'll click close. And what we're going to do is I'll quickly hurry this up along by restarting. And there we go. So let me speed this up again. There we go. We're getting to the desktop nearly. So all the updates have now been done. We're on now 24H2. We're back at the desktop here. So let's go ahead and let's check our system and see whether those settings have been reset. We still have our file on the desktop and we're going to go straight into settings here. We're going to go straight into privacy and security. 
and lo and behold all our settings are still here so if you do disable them it will stay disabled okay so all that silliness that people keep putting in the comment section rather than say stuff or assume stuff test it for yourself and you'll know and when i make videos to show you this guys i'm doing it just to educate you it's not to gloat and prove a point it's just to educate you to make you understand that when we put these settings in place it will stay off so a lot of people that spread this stuff on the internet they don't actually know they've read it somewhere or someone's told them and they believe it rather than uh, you know testing it for themselves then they will come onto comment sections and make you know stupid claims and then of course it causes a bit of drama and again after a while i'll respond in a negative way because i'm get tired of it but anyway with that said i hope this video helps you out hopes it helps you understand that if you are going to be disabling something like recall it is going to be disabled and stay off anyway but that said my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk quick shout out to my youtube members i appreciate the support and i shall catch you in the next video thanks again for watching bye for now